Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with a look at the navigation style feature in iOS 15. This option is something that you may remember we passed in the last two videos where we looked at the new changes in voiceover settings and the new quick settings feature. And you're probably wondering, well, what is that navigation style thing? Well, let's take a look. Go ahead and unlock my Four, phone here. There we go. And settings, accessibility, back button. We will go ahead. I'm already in voiceover, voiceover settings. Heading. So I'm going to just go ahead and move my finger down to the bottom of the screen about. Rotor, button, rotor, typing, button. Now I'm just clicking Quick right. Settings, navigation style, flat. Button. And there is navigation style. You hear that it says navigation style flat. So let's go in here. Selected flat. And we have two options. We have flat and grouped. Grouped. Now next to these options, there is a bit of help text. So I'll go ahead and allow voiceover to read that. Voiceover navigates by moving sequentially through each item on the screen and using the move next and previous commands. So that just kind of said that voiceover moves sequentially through all of the items on screen. Now that has been the behavior on iOS since voiceover became available on iOS. So it's always been this way. But if we change the option grouped. to grouped, I will double Selected. tap. Grouped. And let's now hear what voiceover says. Voiceover navigates by moving through items and groups of items on the screen. To move into a group, use a two finger swipe right. To leave a group, use a two finger swipe left. So it organizes the elements on screen into groups. Now this might sound somewhat familiar particularly if you are a Mac user. So on the Mac, as an example, you might hear a toolbar, but you have to interact with it to see what is on that toolbar. Well, that has come to iOS, and I'm just gonna give a very quick demo of it. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go into Notes, which has a toolbar and a few other elements. So open Notes. Just use Siri to bring us into notes. notes, folders, back button. And here we are. So you hear that there's folders. Edit, dimmed, button. Edit. Notes, heading. Notes. Search, search field. And a search. Dictate button. Dictate button. Now if I keep flicking right. Dictate button. Dictate button. You're noticing that it keeps saying dictate button. Dictate button. It's not going past to get into the list of notes. Dictate button. So we need to stop interacting with this Notes. group Edit. here Edit. Button. and to do that as voiceover told us in the settings screen we need to do a two finger swipe left so i'm, I'm going ahead and put my phone down on the table so i could do that easier out of nav bar. and you heard voiceover say out of nav bar so now toolbar nav bar Nav bar. It says we have the nav bar, toolbar, and the toolbar. Toolbar. So let's see what's on the toolbar. If I do a two finger swipe right, in toolbar, new note button. It said in toolbar. No notes. And I currently don't have no notes, notes, so just new note button. Bring us between those two. So let's just go in. We make a new note real new quick. Multi line text field is editing character cap H cap hit U E cow U I I. It's very high. And September third, multi line text done button. Let's say done. Multi line text September third notes but notes back button. Notes, now let's see if that button. makes a change. Folders this. back button. Edit dim notes head search dictate dictate button. So again, we're in that nav bar. So I'm going to use my two finger swipe left. Out of nav bar. And we're out of it. And now hi modified four forty seven p.m. No additional text. And there's the notes. Toolbar. And there's the toolbar. So again, I can just go into the toolbar if I wanted to with a two finger swipe right. In toolbar, new note, button, one note, one note. And it says we have one note, a lot of it. Toolbar. So that is a bit of what this sounds like to use. Now, if you're on an area that does not have elements like this, and you try to use the two finger left and right, you hear the 
boundary noise and a ding. And that ding might also be familiar if you're a Mac user, because that is also used on the Mac. So now just to show you that settings, we go back in here, settings, navigate flat, and put this back Selected. to flat. flat Voice over navigates by moving sequentially through each settings. Our experience will be much like it always has been. Apps with settings, active notes, active notes, a settings, active notes, folders, back button, edit, did notes, heading. Search, search, dictate, button, hi, modified, 447, p toolbar, new note, button, one note, one note, new note, hi, dictate, button, search, search notes, edit, dim, folders, folders, back button. So there you go. Now it's back to the navigation that we have always had on iOS. So that is a look at the new navigation style feature and the grouped option in iOS 15. So this, as I said, will feel very familiar if you are a Mac user. So I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this iOS 15 feature demonstration. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications to learn about upcoming videos. You can also keep up to date by following me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching.